life is 10% what happens to us and 90% what we react to it. So we started with the methods in REST API. We started with get, which is retrieve a specific resource or a collection of resources. Post, create new resource. It is not considered to be an item important. Delete, removes a specific resource. Put, completely replace a specific resource. Patch is similar in some ways to put because patch modifies the capabilities of a resource. And the difference between put and patch is that patch sends a request containing only changes to the resource, not a completely updated resource. So there are several tools exist to consume REST APIs. So we have curl, we have postman, we have python. So curl is a simple Linux command line tool within a shell script that provides an easy way to transfer data with URL syntax. Postman, this tool is an application that provides a very easy GUI to consume REST APIs. Python request makes use of embedded Python libraries and a small variety of methods to send HTTP requests to the APIs of a resource. So it involves establishing an SSH connection to the router and implementing restconf, activating restconf functionality. Further, the instruction to enable and initiate the secure server is given using the IP HTTP secure server command. When aiming to access the complete configuration of a device, we need a URL. And that URL is being accessed through an application which is Postman. This URL is integrated with a HTTP method request type verb to define how to locate a specific resources within the API. So restconf and HTTP server needs to enable on the device. Connect the device using SSH. Enter the restconf command to enable restconf. Enter the IP HTTP secure server command to enable and start the secure server. In Postman, we need to add the URL to the HTTP method request to indicate how to find a specific resources in the API. This URL is divided in certain parts. For example, what protocol that we need? What is the host that we are looking to connect? What is the resource path? And what parameters that we want to give it? So if you break down this HTTP URL, so it break down into protocol, host, resource path, and parameters. So restconf is just using a rest principle and therefore uses HTTP verbs appropriately. The most important operation to take note of is the use of the operations. What kind of operations that we want to put it. So use HTTP based APIs with Postman how to interact with the devices using restconf protocol without the need to write a lot of software commands. Instead, we will use Postman, easy to use, GUI based. And in this section, we will explore how to use Postman to interact with our devices. So this is the Postman GUI. The first step we need to put, we need to add a particular URL. So URL that provides the path to find a certain resources. So what we are doing is we were providing an URL here. This is the host name and then we'll have the resource path of it. Then comes the method. So in this method, we have get, post, put, patch, delete, head and option methods. So we are now using get method to retrieve the information. After that, we will be going to the authorization tab. In authorization tab, we will choose the authorization depends on the APIs and we are using here as a basic authentication type and put the username and password. In the header, we'll add a content and accept this table. And then the header indicate what structured data that we are looking at. The structured data that we are looking at this example is JSON. So what we can mention is application slash Yang data plus JSON. Then we'll use the send button and we'll get the information about it. 
You can see here the response displays the entire running configuration of the device. So think about we are using a JSON format to get the output. So for example, if I remove this except header and as a result, it will remove the application Yang data JSON. So now we will get the output in XML format. So the default format that we are looking here is in XML format and this XML format will give us the entire configuration. So now we will use the parameter here as uh, content is equals to config and then use the send button to get the entire configuration of the device. So now we will use the version to get the version of the device using the parameter slash version will get the in the XML format as well as in JSON format. Also, we can check the license information from the device. So we can use license slash UDI slash serial number. So here we get the serial number of the device. So now let's change our response path to get the information on the interface from this device. So you will see that the word we change it to native slash interface and press send and then we get the response as status code 200 and the interface details and the configuration of the interface. To further drill down in just a little deeper to get more specific response, we will use the interface name that is Gigabit Ethernet and which interface that we want, Gigabit Ethernet 1. And further we can use loopback to filter out the loopback interface details over here. So we will have two loopbacks that has been there, which is loopback one and loopback two. Now, if I want an IP address, only the IP address of loopback one. So what I can do is I can use IP slash address. So we can go to IP and then address and then send, we'll get the IP address information only. So, so far in this lab, we have seen how we can gather data from a router and we sent over an HTTP request and we got a response. So basically in this lab, we used get method to retrieve the information from the device. Thank you so much for watching this video. 